If you guys want to learn more about cryptocurrency, want to learn more about day trading, the stock market in general, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me help you. I'm making videos every single day talking about cryptocurrencies and day trading and all that fun stuff. So right now we're looking here at GDAX. That's GDAX.com. This is basically an exchange that works with Coinbase. One of the reasons that a lot of people use GDAX is that it's very easy and simple to use. And also you don't pay any fees if you want to buy and sell on the limit. So if I'm buying and selling with a limit order, I pay no fees, which is really cool. If I want to buy a Bitcoin, you can see it's going to show market limit stop. That's three types of orders. Market is going to fill me just at whatever price the market is right there. So I'm going to actually pay a fee if I want to get filled instantly. So if I want to get filled instantly on a market order, which is going to fill me right there at 6505 I would click buy, click the put a thousand dollars and then click buy place order that's going to fill me instantly there at that point and i'm going to pay a fee for that i think that the fee is like three percent now if i want to get filled on let's say litecoin here and i want to put a limit order out there i want to buy one litecoin coin and i don't want to pay any fees how do i do that i'm going to do that with a limit order so i'm going to put one litecoin uh and that's going to come out i'll put 60 90 six here and i'm going to put place buy order that's going to get me filled there i'm going to try to buy here and see if we can get filled here if it's going to dip down so you can see my order is going to actually pop up there on the order book now this is the order book so this is going to be showing the sellers this is going to be showing the buyers so buying on the bottom selling on the top selling is always going to be red just like with day trading and buying is going to be green here you can see the actual buyers there, all these orders, 508 Litecoins trying to be bought there at the 6096 area. And this looks like it wants to go higher. So a lot of buying right there, 6096, 6095, a lot of buyers sitting there. They're trying to buy Litecoin for cheap, but they don't want to pay the ask. This is what people are selling for there at the 6097 area. Now this is the price people are offering to pay. But these guys up here, they're like, no, 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 I'm only going to sell if it gets up to my price. I'm only going to sell at 6097 i won't sell to you at 6096 and look at this a lot of buying there at the 6096 series once this gets filled it's going to pop up over here on the right it'll show that i got filled at a certain price earlier i got filled one coin there at 6010 so now you can see the price is actually moving higher and people are going above me now they're paying more than i would pay so i would only pay 6096 for one coin and you can see there someone's willing to pay 6098 and you got the seller sitting there, 6099. You got a lot of selling there, but it looks like it's coming down. You can see over here on the right, all the buying activities. This is all the orders going through. People buying there, 6099, 6099. All this is buyers stepping up there. All that green, green, green. People are paying for the ask. They're, the people are asking that price and they're getting filled there. So there we go, over 61 now. And Litecoin is going higher. I haven't gotten filled yet because the price hasn't dipped to my price. I'm not going to chase it. I'm not going to go and pay 61 right now for it. I'll wait and see later on if this wants to dip down there, but I'm trying to get filled some Litecoin today. I'll wait for this to dip back down there to that $58 area. One of the reasons I use GDAX is like I said, you're not paying any fees. If I get filled, there's no fees. You can see here, no fees. So that's one good thing about using GDAX. It's very simple and easy. And what I suggest people is transfer US currency into your Coinbase account and then transfer from Coinbase into GDAX, which is very simple. You go here to deposit, you go to Coinbase account, it's gonna transfer the money right out of your Coinbase account into GDAX with no delay, no issues, in and out quickly, there's no waiting time, there's no fees to transfer from Coinbase into GDAX. And then once I trans and then once I get my Litecoins in GDAX, then I can withdraw to my wallet. So I put my cash into Coinbase, I put my cash from Coinbase into GDAX, and then I take my coins and put them into my wallet. So kind of breaking down what this is all about, how to use GDAX to buy and sell coins, how to get coins cheap, and kind of looking for actions. So you can see right now Litecoin going higher up here to that $62 area. So we had some nice move here. This is the hourly chart. If you look a little bit more, it looks like Litecoin you know, kind of wants to go higher here, but we'll have to see if it gets above that $64 area first. And you can see. A Litecoin starting to get up there. This is the one minute chart over that $61 right there to 61.20. So my order now is down there still at 60.96. No one's willing to sell at that price right now. So we'll have to wait a little bit and see if we get filled later on. So, but I wanted to break down a little bit better on how to buy and sell with GDAX and how I'm doing it, how I'm acquiring Litecoin, Bitcoin, all that fun stuff. 
Another thing, if you want to buy altcoins, normally you can go into GDAX, buy, you can buy Ether, you can buy Litecoin, you can buy Bitcoin, and then use your wallet to transfer that to exchange. I'll make another video about that soon. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys later on.